Up first this evening, several residents of Shooters Hill in St. Andrew remain in, shelter, in a shelter in the St. Benedict's Primary School. This after the weekend heavy rains caused more damage to houses in the community. Now, Vashon Brown was in the area today and now reports. From the air. From the ground. The devastation caused by the heavy rains in Shooters Hill, St. Andrew is clear. These images from yesterday when the roads in the community were flooded. Animals sought refuge at this shop. Residents tried their best to ensure the water did not enter their houses. Some also used sandbags to create a barrier. Today when we went back to the community, a section of the road was still blocked. But what's causing worries how the rains have been wreaking havoc on the houses in the area? The whole land of bus up, mash up like an earthquake a, a run, run underneath the earth there. So I said, that's a go on. Crazy landslide. A more than about 17, 20 hours up on the hill get this child. Everybody upon that side a mash up. Everald Gale is standing where his house was once located. He's been living in Shooters Hill for almost 20 years. From my son begin about two weeks ago or three weeks ago. Everything was all right. I was in the house while during the storm and all of that. A first big stone they come down from the back and mash on the house, so the house never did fully go down. The weekend rain now, all it done to it now is finish up the whole completely house. And the whole, the top side of the, the hill, it was start from up there first. And when it start from up there first, all of those houses coming down. So my house now, it bear all the pressure from up there, dirt and everything. So you find say my house collapse and everything. He left the house before it collapsed. He's now staying with friends. Well, all of my furniture, them now, inside of the house, TV, whatnot, bed, microwave, all of those things that also all that, that, that accept. So where are they now? Where I am? Um, where, where, where the furniture, them? Well, all the furniture, them now, them in, in the mud. It's not just his house. If you walk through the neighborhood, you cannot miss the devastation. Take a look at the kitchen in this house or what's left of it. This is inside the living room of another. And speaking of walking, that might also be a challenge. It's like sinking sand in some parts of the community. I'm inside one of the damaged houses. And if you look around, you can see the result of the recent heavy rains. Now, though the occupants of this particular house have moved out, some items like a microwave were not saved. Now some have asked why did the residents choose to live in this particular area, but the residents say they do not have anywhere else to live. When we were living here it was okay, so we never knew something like this would happen. So it's just disaster and we can't beat, we just can't beat the time. Salome Millwood has been living in Shooters Hill for 11 years. She says she's never seen anything like this. Her house is in danger and the rains this weekend made it all worse. Underneath still caving out, it just heating out underneath. So while you know it eating out underneath, then you know it, the house going to come down any minute. I move out most things, I have some things in there. I mean, I have nowhere to put no more because I just have to beg people put on some, family put on some. We are in the shelter. I'm not going to live in there and water running underneath it. Mm -hmm. I don't want to wake up and sink underneath there. Mm -hmm. Which shelter are you now? At the St. Benedict's Primary School. Mm -hmm. How long have you been at the shelter? We are there for two weeks now. The residents say they want help to relocate. A man and his daughter were killed in Shooters Hill recently when a landslide swept their house down a slope. The Jamaica Institution of Engineers has called for urgent action to prevent a recurrence. It suggested that safety checks be carried out on other houses in the area. Vashon Brown, TVJ News.